In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this nice animated slide in Canva in just a few minutes with the animated smoke and your own design elements. And we're starting from a blank canvas. First thing you want to do is you want to go to the elements tab and look for a coffee cup. So do coffee cup, press enter, and here we can have a selection of cups. We're going for a photorealistic one, so see all. And here we have a selection of cups that we can choose from. I'm going to choose one of those without a background. I think this one will look quite nice. It also has that shadow effect built in, which is pretty cool. Let's scale it down just a little bit and place it in the center of our slide. Maybe a bit below. Now we want to go for the elements again, and we want to type in shapes. We go to the shapes tab, and this will give us the selection of different shapes. And here we want to look for the shape with the little edges. So there's a few options here. I'm going to choose this one and add it to the slide. I'm going to increase it in size. Let's do it around here and then go to border style. Here we can choose the rounding. And if I increase it, you can see that the roundness of these edges will smoothen off and round. So I'm going to put it to the maximum and then click away. Hold control and zoom backwards to zoom out or use this toggle switch to zoom out. And I'm going to increase it quite large. So it covers about half of the slide maybe a bit smaller around here. Ctrl C, Ctrl V to create a duplicate and place it on the other slide. You don't have to position them exactly the same. You can position them slightly higher so that we get this random wave effect. Go to position tab, layers, and here we want to drag the coffee cup all the way to the top. Now you can see that we still have this smoke here at the bottom, which doesn't look that nice. We want to have the bottom covered in yellow. So we're going to Press the R key to add a rectangle and add that here to the bottom of our slide. I'm going to do it somewhere halfway the cup and then make it yellow. Go to colors and make it yellow. Position and then drag that underneath the cup. There we go. Make sure that we fill it to the bottom of the slide so that we have an even border. Now we can sort of reposition the cup a little bit and you can already see this smoke effect appearing on the slide. Depending on how you want it, you can adjust the shapes in size. So if you want more of it going towards the, the edge and the side, that is perfectly possible. If you want to make the curves different in size, that is also an option. I kind of like this effect where it's somewhat from the center and then going in a bit of an unnatural shape. So to one side, I think this looks good. Hold shift and select both rotations or both shapes. Go to animate and now we want to add the animation we're going for the rotate animation and the speed we're going to reduce it all the way to the bottom you can see now it looks a bit funny because this one is rotating clockwise and the other one counterclockwise we want to select the one on the left that was the wrong one rotate select that rotate again and then turn the angle so both of them turn upwards um, and we get this upward smoke effect i'm going to position them slightly different so shift this one just a bit to the top. So we have that smoke curve nicely fitting into each other. So here we have that inward curve and that goes together with the outward curve. I kind of like that effect. And now let's already play and see what we have. Put it on full screen. And this is already a pretty neat looking smoke effect from your coffee cup in a nice modern style, but we can do more. Now, of course we can add some text elements. So go to text, title, and here we want to say, for example, coffee. I'm going to go for a font called Anton, which is a small or like a condensed font. And I'm going to make this text color white and put that to the side. If you want, you can increase it in size and put it slightly behind that cup. I think that always looks nice. And then drag it underneath. So we have a little bit of an overlap and you can play around with the, the words here. So I'm going to create a copy and say fresh. And then match that fresh up with the coffee word so it's about the same size select both there we go i think that looks pretty cool and now we have this white space on the right side we're going to fill that up with some coffee beans so say coffee beans go to all select photos and here we can select some nice beans to add to the slide maybe this one here and position that on the right of the slide to sort of fill up that space and at least give that element of the coffee. Same with the text. If you want, you can also give it a different text color. It really depends on the style that you want to create. I'll select some, maybe a darker one 
from the beans. And also this we can animate. So we can select animate. Maybe do a pen in for this one. And the beans. Let's see what we can do. I think a baseline would be good. Maybe do it from the right. And reduce the speed by quite a lot. Maybe just a little bit more. There we go. Then everything flies in at the same time. Now let's preview what we have. And this is how you make a nice animated slide in Canva in just a few minutes with your own elements and animations. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.